is Antics. Welcome to my channel. Hope you are well today because we are getting into another crafty video. Now if you cast your mind back to a few months ago I made some envelope cushions and I said in that that I would be adding a little bit something extra to these cushions at a later date. Well that date has come and we are adding some pom-poms to the cushions because I love pom-poms. Who doesn't love a pom-pom? Let's have a pom-pom party. Maybe not. <laughs> Um, so if you want to have a go at making this, all you're going to need is some cushion covers, whether you've made them yourselves or bought them from the store, some wool in the colour of your choice, a pom-pom maker, now you can buy these, these are little plastic devices that are pom-pom makers, or you can make your own using some cardboard. I will link a blog post below that shows you how to do that method if that is how you want to go about it. And finally you will need some needle and thread to attach your pom-poms to the cushion. So if it sounds like something you want to have a go at, then let's get crafting. So to make your pom-poms, you want to use a pom-pom maker. This is the version I am using. Mine was from Amazon. I will pop it in the link below if you want to use the same one as well. Or there is the cardboard version, which again, I will link to. So you want to start by selecting your chosen wool and begin wrapping this around one of the arms of the pom-pom maker. Once that arm is completely full of wool, you want to make sure it is thick enough because you want a nice, decent, fluffy pom-pom. Then fold this down into the pom-pom maker and loop that piece of wool over onto the next arm and continue making sure that this side is completely full as well. Once you have enough wool on this second arm, you then want to place that back into the pom-pom maker and you will see that it is now a round shape. You want to cut off the trailing bit of wool and then cut a piece off that you will use to tie in the middle. Keeping hold of the pom-pom maker, you want to trim the little bit of wool that you looped over two arms so that that separates. And making sure that the two arms stay inside the pom-pom maker, you then want to cut down the middle of each of the humped bits, if you get what I mean. This separates the wool and will create the fluffy bit of your pom-pom. Now, because you are cutting it, it will be very loose so if you accidentally open the arms then you will lose your wool and it will be hard to make your pom-pom and you will probably have to start all over again so make sure you keep a good hold of your pom-pom maker. Using the bit of wool that you cut off from your ball of wool you want to then place it in the pom-pom maker through the middle and wrapping it round to the other side. This will secure all of your loose pom-pom bits in. Now make sure you tie it in a tight knot because if you don't all of your wool will fall out and you won't have a pom-pom anymore. Once you are happy that your knot is secure, it is time to remove your pom-pom from the maker. So open up both of the arms and then pull the maker apart from the middle. This will separate into two halves, releasing your round pom-pom. If like mine, your pom-pom isn't quite uniformed and the traditional round fluffy shape, you want to just fluff it out of your hands, removing any of the loose wool that hasn't been caught with the knot, and then grab some scissors and just trim this down so that it has that nice round fluffy look. And then your pom-pom is ready to be added to your cushion covers. I decided to do two colour of pom-poms and I'm going to alternate these on the cushion cover. Before you start attaching your pom-poms, you need to work out how many you will need per cushion cover. Now because I am doing two different colours of pom-poms and alternating these, I needed five of each colour per side, so in total it was ten pom-poms per side. Using a needle and thread, double knot this and then push it through the middle of your pom-pom right to where the knot is that you secured it with, doubling this over a few times and knotting to make sure the thread is fully secured onto your pom-pom, ready to be sewn onto your cushion cover. 
Begin sewing on your pom-pom by pushing the needle through your seam of the cushion cover and looping this back up and round, doing this several times until you feel like your pom-pom is secure. Finish with a loop knot, I don't know if that's a technical term for it but it does secure it so you push your needle through and then back through the loop that is created and this should secure your thread in place. Trim off any trailing bits of wool of your pom-pom and your first pom-pom is now attached to your cushion cover. Repeat the same process with the rest of your pom-poms. Repeat the process on the opposite side of the cushion cover, again alternating the colours with themselves and the opposite side to get this effect. Once you are happy with your pom-poms, place in a cushion insert into the cushion cover and your pom-pom cushion is complete! So you have how to make pom-pom cushions, super simple and easy to make, if not just a little bit time consuming with the amount of pom-poms that you have to make, but the effect after is fabulous. They really add something to your decor and you can really change these up to match whatever your decor scheme is in your home. Now you can also do the full front of the cushion in pom-poms, you're just going to have to make a ton more pom-poms so it's whether you want to put yourself through that and you will have a totally one-off piece of decor and who doesn't want that? Something quirky and unique to you. So if you like the video please do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe to keep up with more of my crafting and travel antics coming up onto the channel. Check out my blog link below as well because there's always a ton more information over on Amy's antics than I put in these videos so do check that out and with that said I will see you in the next video. Bye!